we've got the 135 multi power split and now we're going to pop the clutch off and we'll just run through that it's, it's not a difficult job now we do have the um, transport bolts and look they're, they're a little bolt what's that two inches two and a quarter inches long UNF and there's a couple of holes on the clutch where they go in and what we do we just take them up I, I don't do this with a nut gun I do it up by hand so it, it just makes sure you have a bit of a feel for it then there's one over here that I started on before I started videoing so that's just taken the well, well the head of the bolts just come flush with the cover so we'll take them all to that and what that does is when we undo the clutch and we undo these main clutch bolts um, it, it doesn't let everything get stretched and out of place in here so so we'll just take these all up and you can actually do them up a little bit and move that centre plate around if you ever need to but a lot of people forget to take these out so <laughs> I was just talking to our mate Gordon and yeah we sold a clutch one time and this bloke rang up and he was going right off that clutch you sold me it slips it's no good who's going to pay to split me tractor again and all that and so I drove out and it was only oh, 25 30 kilometres drove out to see him and he said, this bloody clutch is slipping and, you know, I shouldn't have to pay for this. You sell shit parts. And I hopped underneath and undone them and he drove, I drove away. And <laughs> poor bugger. He, just a look on his face. So I'm just going to take a little bit of load on those screws now. But whether you take the load or not, it's not important. If you have the head flush, it's okay. Now it's easy to pull a clutch off, then later on you think, man, which way did that bloody plate go? So, if you've got a paint pen handy, put a mark on it, so you know if you can see that mark you're good. And if it's the original clutch, centre punch here, and centre punch here, and give yourself some witness marks. Um, there's no way this is the original clutch. Um, in this tractor but look it was working well I used this tractor myself well, it was my tractor I did the I did my topping with it and like I say earlier so it'll be okay all right I've got a new little new little Makita nut gun so we'll just see if it's up to the task here no trouble those bolts look good they're not stretched at all Remember on the six speed we had stretched bolts. That all real good. Now because we haven't because of because we have got the bolts in here, um, it's sitting it, it's not springing right out on us. So I reckon this is new bolts because they, they do look really good. They're not wasted away at all, so that's a positive. Okay, so this is the main clutch plate. And as I say, I was doing my slashing with this tractor. No worries at all. But there's a problem. See those rivets are loose here? You can see that part's sticky. So I should be getting a new clutch plate. So I'll ring the shop and we'll, we'll organise that. Apart from that, having a look, it's pretty good. There's plenty of meat there. 
it's just that these rivets these rivets are loosening up and can you see I think you can see that you can see the shiny bit well that's that makes it far more common to see so so that's in the bin no good now I'll pick this fella up oh that's heavy Now I'll zoom the camera out a little bit and have a look at what we have here. Well, there's a couple of little marks on there, but look, that'll be okay. I don't think we'll worry. It's, it's pretty smooth, but there's a little tiny little ridge just out here where the old clutch plates let go sometime. Well, look, that's fine. I'm, I'll just roughen that up. Now the PDO plate sits in here and on the trekking tractor the PDO was working fine um, I don't think I'm gonna go in there and look at it look we just aren't using the PDO for any reason at all everything else is looking good all the pivots are looking good A little bit of wear there, but look, I'm happy with this. So I'm not going to pull it apart. Um, I'll probably oil these pivots here. Um, I don't see the need to drop them apart. It was working well. I'll, I'll lubricate the pivots. I'll put a new clutch plate in it. Um, it'll get a new pilot bearing there. So if I'll put the clutch out of the way. And this pilot bearing, it'll get a new one of these. Now the flywheel surface here that the clutch goes on, look, it looks a little bit rusty. I'll see if we can zoom in a little bit. And it looks like it's got a little track around there, but look, that's, you can barely feel that. So look, we're gonna run with that. I'm, I'm just happy with that, that's a good thing. So we'll, while we go, we might as well drop this um, flywheel off out of the way. Because I don't think you should ever split one of these without um, checking the rear seal out. I wonder if my little nut gun's got enough go to undo those bolts. That's some compression in this tractor. It used to run well, I'm not doing anything to the engine, apart from you know tappets and just a quick service. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be surprised if it opens you. I'm not expecting it, but I just want to try it. You have to humour me for a little bit here. Oh, look at that. Go, you good thing. <laughs> it's got some balls in it. I forget the specs now, but it the red pretty good enough, but oh yeah, don't think it'll be that good. Oh yeah, I thought it had its beat. How good's that? Little Makita LTX. Who'd have thought it? DTW253. Ha! <laughs> I'm pleased with that. Okay, let's try and get this off without dropping it on my toe. Hmm. 
Look at that, that would have to be the driest rear brake seal I've seen in a long time. Well, look at this. This is the rear crank seal on the 135 multi-power tractor. And I was planning to replace this with the quality tractor parts lip seal replacement. And there's a lip seal kit that they bring out to replace the rope seal on these tractors. And look, I can't remember ever pulling a tractor apart or pulling the flywheel off one of these that was so clean and tidy. So obviously that's been done recently. So look, I'm not going to pull it apart. I think I might, um, I think I might save the, um, save the lip seal kit for another tractor that's needed. There's no, no, it's just replacing parts for the sake of it. So, so there you go. We'll do that job another day.